Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a new culinary adventure and roasting coffee beans. We're going to just toss them in a skillet, shake them up a little bit, roast them, hopefully not burn them, and see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? I have no idea. I'm guessing a lot of smoke and some burning smells and some coffee smells. <laughs> He's got a lot of faith in this project. Hey, it's just what I researched, but I think it'll be fun. Anyway, come along with us. See what happens. So here's our cast iron skillet. As you can see, it has some oil in it. And I didn't read anything that said you need to roast with oil in the pan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it on out. So we're getting ready to get started here. Um, as I just opened this bag up, it was kind of a strange experience because you know, you usually open a bag of coffee and like take that first whiff and it's so yummy smelling. And um, I just smelled it and it just smells really like earthy and not like coffee at all. <laughs> so hopefully we can get that really nice scent. Anyway, here we go. Is that what you'd like to eat? Ramen noodle. Okay, I'll make some for you in a minute. This is going pretty well so far. So it's been just about 20 minutes now and we are getting a really nice kind of light brown color here. Um, I have some coffee that we purchased from a local roaster that is a light roast, it's an Ethiopian. And um, just for comparison, it looks like we're getting pretty close to that color. So I've let the beans just kind of coast in the pan without any heat on it for about 10 minutes. And I'm really satisfied with this whole experience. This has been great. Um, it was really easy, very straightforward. Uh, I would say the main thing when you're roasting beans in a skillet is just to stay present, <laughs> just to keep watching them. Because if you don't, what can happen is it can burn on one side and then the roast can be really uneven. And so I was just making sure to stay in front of the stove and just to continue stirring as much as I could. And the results are to my liking. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. You can see the color is a really nice dark brown. And there are a few lighter beans here and there, just because, you know, just the nature of stirring it to try to keep it evenly roasted um, is not perfect. So now just the final step is I'm going to take the beans and put them in a colander and then just kind of toss it around outside where the chaff can just kind of like go through the holes of the colander and it just kind of cleans the beans up a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna let them sit in probably a pan and let them off gas for about four hours. 
Then after that, I'm gonna put it in an airtight container and try my first cup tomorrow morning. Thank you.